We inherited a hay field and we felt somewhat obligated to take care of the hay field. We wanted to get a tractor that was capable of taking care of eight to 10 acres. We did the research and found that the tractor was capable as any of the other tractors in that comparable horsepower range. Electric seemed the right choice at the right time to lessen the usage of fossil fuels and to do something that could help innovate communities, could help innovate our agriculture. The pieces that we bought, the mini round baler, the drum mower, and the rake um, worked perfectly. So we were able to get 150 mini round bales of alfalfa hay this year. Being in the field and working the hay, it just, it gives you a peace of mind that uh, kind of brings you uh, more in touch with the community. I would recommend this electric tractor for anybody who's been thinking about the future of energy and how we use it. They're power hungry and the tractor lasts for four and a half to five hours on a charge. So we are able to get quite a, a good day's worth of work in the field on one charge. Our approach, mine and my wife Shanda's approach to farming is to care for the land and to get the best we can out of the land in a manner that is uh, more environmentally friendly to wean ourselves off of the fossil fuels to get that out of the field. We went through La Plata Electric and submitted a rebate and received a rebate back for this tractor. I think the most surprising thing about this tractor is the multitude of uses. The tractor does a great job powering that drum mower in order to cut the field, so that was very satisfying. Uh, most farms have what they call zero turn, which is a little bit more of an industrial mower than your traditional mower. It's a riding lawnmower, a great piece of equipment that we purchased and it works very well, as a matter of fact. We are now considering more electric options in the future.